you'll never guess what I picked up. A thermal monocular. I don't have any experience with thermals, but I always wanted to get into them. And this one was priced pretty good, so I pulled the trigger. So let's see uh, what's in the box. What we have here is the Alset MX C10 thermal monocular. Really cool piece of kit. Can't wait to see what thermal's like. First impressions, it's lightweight but feels like it's pretty quality. It's got nice uh, lens covers, interchangeable eyepiece. This thermal monocular has a 1.9 to 7.6 digital zoom. It's got a built-in laser indicator, picture-in-picture -picture feature, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, IP66 weather rating. It's got seven hours of runtime on the 18650 battery that has a separate charger. This is USB C charging on this if you just want to charge it in here. Or you can use the included battery charger where you can have two. Uh, this is ideal for wildlife adventures, law enforcement, search and rescue, personal security. If you see you hear something bump in the night, uh, you can whip this out. Scan the woods, see what's in there. Uh, perfect for farm life. You gotta tend to your livestock. Like I have chickens. I would like to see what's out there trying to eat them. Uh, the list goes on. This thing is a really, really cool piece of gear. And uh, let me see how it works and turn the camera back on. See you in a minute. Got a chance to play around with this for a little bit. Now I want to bring a few things to your attention. Battery door has negative signs, corresponds to battery. So positive down, negative up. Make sure you shut the door, clicks, and it's latched in. You have thread inserts on the sides and the bottom for a tripod or whatever you want to attach to it. And this does hook onto a smartphone app. I'll throw a picture of it up here in the corner. But to link this to the app, you have to go into the menu setting of this and turn the Wi-Fi on. You hold down this button, brings up the menu, and you hit this button to navigate through the menu and this is to select again. Once you do that, your phone will uh, recognize the Wi-Fi single signal. This is coming out and you can continue pairing it through the app. In the app, you can go through all the settings and everything you can into this. It's really, really cool. And another thing, this I don't believe has auto focus in and out. I'm not sure if any of them do. But uh, this does have a manual focus. You hold down this button for near focusing and this button to focus out. So when you're looking through here, you hold down the near focus until it hits the stop. Then you go and hold down this until when the focus ring goes so far out until your image comes into focus and it's crisp and clean and uh, really, really cool. I'm really hooked on thermals after this. So let me show you a little bit of video, what it looks like through here. Here's a video sample in the middle of the day. Shot through the monocular, audio and video. Looking at my chickens here. Here's the different modes. 
I really like this one. Brings back old school uh, Predator vibes. This is 1.5x zoom, 3x, and picture in picture, a little picture in the corner is 3x. I have the uh, monocular auto sensing the heat through the crosshairs. Like I said, this is in the middle of the day. So let's come out tonight. See the brick on the bottom of my house all warmed up from the sun. There's the camera way out in the distance that looks upon the chicken coop. The camera's pretty far out there. I look in the chicken coop window. You kind of see a chicken right there. More of them walking up top. Warm, so you can see my radon fan system and electrical meter. So that concludes my unboxing and short review of the Owlset MCC-10 Thermal Monocular. This thing's really, really nice. This has so many more uses than just going out in the middle of the woods and looking at animals in the middle of the night. You can look at how hot your uh, appliances are running, look for hot electrical wires, uh, cold walls in your house. Anything you want to see, heat differences from hot and cold. So I'm very happy with the purchase. This isn't going to be my last thermal. I'm going to go after a thermal scope for my 22. So stay tuned for that video. And I'll see you on the next one.